Hey everyone, Braden here with Pickleball Effect. I just got this brand new swing weight machine. I've been playing around with it, having a lot of fun. One of the first things I wanted to test was how adding lead tape to a paddle can affect the swing weight. So if you don't know what swing weight is, each paddle has two, has two weight measurements. So you have your static weight and your swing weight. The static weight is just how much the paddle weighs, say eight ounces. But the swing weight takes in a few different factors. It considers the static weight, the weight distribution, the shape of the paddle, and a few other things to give you a swing weight number. So you may have two paddles that weigh the exact same, say they both weigh eight ounces, but one's gonna feel heavier when you're playing with it, and that's because it has a higher swing weight. So you wanna take into account the swing weight when you're considering what paddle you wanna buy. A paddle with a higher swing weight is gonna feel a little slower, a little heavier in your hands, but it's gonna give you a higher plow through and more power. Just another number to consider. But with people adding lead tape to their paddles all the time, I was very curious just how the lead tape affects this swing weight measurement. So when you're looking at swing weight numbers, you'll see anything between 100 and 130. 130 being really high and 100 being really low. So today I have the, the 60 double black diamond 14 millimeter paddle, and then I have about a half ounce of lead tape that I'm gonna put in a few different spots and just see how it affects the swing weight. So let's first, uh, let's weigh this to see what the static weight is. It gives us 7.87 ounces. And then let's see what the uh, static or stock swing weight is. So we'll strap this in here. Hook up my phone. So that gave us 110. So that's the stock swing weight. So 110 is actually pretty light. That's gonna move through the air really quick for you. And then let's, uh, I wanna put the weight in a few different spots. So we're gonna do the bottom two corners, which is probably the most popular configuration of lead tape. Then I wanna do the top two corners. Uh, then we'll do a combination of both corners and the side and see what the swing weight numbers are. So we'll start with the bottom two corners. Before we get the swing weight, let's get the static weight measurement. So with the lead tape, it's 8.43 ounces. So that's a little over a half ounce of, of lead tape. Some people have been known to weight their paddles up to about nine or even 10 ounces, but it's more common to see the paddle around eight and a half ounces, which is what we got here. So let's put this in the machine and see what we get. So that gave us 115. 115. That's still a very manageable swing weight. That's not too bad. Uh, that's kind of in the middle as far as balance goes. Let's put these on the top two corners now. One twenty-seven. That was a big jump. All right, let's do. Do the top corner and the bottom corners. That's one twenty one. All right, let's do the, the sides of the paddle now. That's one nineteen. So people will add lead tape in different locations to add stability or power to the paddle. So when you add it to the bottom two corners, that's kind of known for adding some stability to the paddle, while shifting the weight towards the head is known for giving you a little more plow through and a little more power. But it obviously has a big effect on the swing weight numbers and uh, on the total maneuverability of the paddles. So these numbers are actually pretty interesting. Uh, the original swing weight was 110, which was very low. Adding it to the bottom two corners gave us a five point increase, which is definitely a noticeable increase, but it's still manageable. I think five points isn't too bad. Adding the lead tape to, to the bottom two corners isn't gonna make a huge difference on the maneuverability of the paddle. Adding it to the top two corners gave us a swing weight of 127, which was a huge jump. That was a, a 17 point increase. That's gonna feel super heavy. So adding any amount of, adding the tape to the top two corners, it makes a huge difference. When you have it on all four corners, that gave us 121. So that was less than adding it to the top two corners, but still an 11 point increase, which is pretty significant. You're definitely gonna feel the difference there. It's gonna feel a little slower. And then when you add it to the sides, it gave us 119. So this was a nine point increase, uh, which isn't as bad as the other spots. 
The middle is kind of that happy medium of adding stability and power. It definitely is going to jump up the swing weight, but, but not as bad as adding stuff uh, higher on the paddles. I do want to add a side note that when you're messing around with lead tape, make sure you wash your hands right afterwards. It's not, it's not good to, to play around with and touch a lot, but that's my experiment. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped.